present. Dear little children, I'm going to take you on a hunting trip to Africa. You may think of Africa as the dark continent, but actually the sun is very warm and bright there, and you may go there quite safely and quite comfortably so long as you observe the laws of the jungle. Here is an ordinary hunter. He might be your father or your uncle. How gently the elephant places him on the ground. Then the elephant goes to sleep. That is the first law of the jungle. Always take a little nap at noon, or whenever you feel tired. The modern hunter doesn't hunt lions or tigers. He hunts butterflies, because that is much more exciting and difficult. That white one is the Regina Maxima, which means queen butterfly. The green one, Lopsidus dopsidus, which means lopsided butterfly. That's not a butterfly, of course, that's a tiger. And that blue one is the most beautiful and rare of all, the Dipsidudula rex. Let's see if we get a good photo of it. There. That tiger certainly is in a nasty mood, isn't he? Perhaps that's because he didn't take his nap today, as he should. If you forget to take a nap, you get dizzy. This tiger thinks the butterfly net is something to eat. Isn't that stupid? If he would only lie down now, he would soon feel much better. The clever hunter will make use of everything he finds in the jungle. If you see a hanging vine, it is probably meant for you to climb. Oh, a hanger snake. Actually, that snake is quite harmless. You must take your bath every day. That is the second law of the jungle. Remember, you are a guest of the animals. If you forget to wash between your toes, the animals will not like you. After taking two baths, this hunter now has nice, clean feet. The animals won't mind him at all now. They won't even know he's there. He can take his nap in perfect peace. Watch now. The tiger will like the hunter better now that he is bathed. Oh dear, he sees the hunter's shirt. He's still dizzy. I'm afraid he thinks it's good to eat. But notice, he can't smell the hunter. He's looking everywhere, but he'll soon go away and have lunch somewhere else. No, 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 never run from a tiger. When you run, the tiger can smell the odor of fear, and he gets the impression that you are afraid of him. This man is quite lost because he's running away. Watch now. Ah, monkeys. Those are called giggler monkeys because they love to giggle. That's an interesting fact, isn't it? Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the hunter must stand firm if he doesn't want to be eaten alive. That's better. Now the tiger no longer thinks he's afraid. There, the giggler monkeys are giggling now. The hunter should take this opportunity to give the tiger a candy bar or a sandwich for his lunch and make friends with him. Too late. Ah, there's the coconut palm. It is a very important tree because of its coconuts. These nuts are very good to eat indeed. The bark can be used to make toothpicks. The leaf, too, is useful. It is long and soft, and it has a lovely little feathery tip. <laughs> Strange as it may seem, another animal that hates the tiger is the elephant. Now, this tiger is making the same mistake as the hunter. He is running away, and so the elephant thinks the tiger is afraid. That's the third law of the jungle. Don't run, walk. Goodbye, children, and remember your laws when you come to Africa. Take your nap, bathe well, and never, never run.